up everybody, it's Rodney Rock, and today we're talking about crazy, bizarre, and scary foods. <laughs> nah, not really. Welcome to Food Porn Friday. Karaku is a cozy little restaurant in Berkeley, California that serves what they like to call Japanese tapas. Small dishes served with a Japanese sensibility so that you can sample a variety of items. We started the meal with a chilled broccolini salad that was salty and briny like the ocean. Hmm, why did it have a salty, briny taste? Well, because the salad was dressed with the reproductive organs of the sea urchin. What the Japanese like to call uni. Uni! 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 Uni are actually the gonads of the sea urchin. It has a soft texture with a creamy and salty ocean flavor. I absolutely love this stuff. Now I will admit, uni is not for the rookie adventurous eater. I wouldn't recommend you right away jump into trying sea urchin. But for those of you who already like sushi, love ocean flavor, uni is an amazing experience. At Karaku, they utilize uni in a salad. And it's a subtle introduction into the taste of the ingredient. And because of its salty composition, it really opens up your palate for the meal. For those of you willing to try the full-on version of uni, my favorite method of preparation is uni with a little bit of sliced avocado and sprinkled with sea salt. Alongside our sea urchin broccolini salad, we had an order of their deep fried chicken cartilage. Ch chicken cartilage? Yup! If you've ever had deep fried chicken giblets, combine the chewiness of the giblets with a cleaner chicken fat flavor without the minerally taste that comes from something like chicken livers. There you'll have an idea of what deep fried chicken cartilage tastes like. Fun and delicious. Our last small dish was a single grilled beef skewer dressed with their sweet house sauce. The beef was as tender and as buttery as a cut of filet mignon. Only it wasn't filet mignon. It was beef tongue. Oh my god, so crazy, right? So crazy. Not really. I enjoy eating beef tongue, and when it's done correctly, it really does taste like a piece of very tender filet mignon. Karaku's treatment of beef tongue is the best I've ever had so far. It's like it melted in my mouth, and I really appreciated the care that they took with the ingredient, because prepared incorrectly, beef tongue is a rubbery, tough mess. Okay, now just in case you were worried that Karaku doesn't serve normal food, one of our small entree dishes was a homey and comforting bowl of rice, topped with fried rock shrimp that was juicy and tender, with pieces of pillowy sweet potato, and then garnished with scallions. The rice was perfectly seasoned with rice vinegar, and the grains were delicate and still toothsome. The other entree we shared was non-traditional, but not as scary as the first few. Imagine a seafood pesto pasta, with the exception of using thick, chewy Japanese udon instead of pasta noodles. In this fun take on seafood pasta, you'll find baby scallops, calamari, and chopped pieces of octopus. The dish is then garnished with bonito flakes. Now for those of you who don't know, bonito is a dried and fermented fish that's been smoked. They take this fish and they shave it super, super, super thin. These flakes of bonito add a smoky, almost bacon flavor to the dish. A really nice touch. We ended the meal with a creme brulee, but of course not just any creme brulee, a sweet potato creme brulee. Adding sweet potato allowed for a creme Creamier, smoother custard. And it changed the sweetness profile so it had more honey, earthy notes. It was a fitting end to a delicious night. So if you're feeling a little bit adventurous, try some uni, try some cartilage, try some tongue. Go to a restaurant like Karaku that respects these ingredients and prepares them with care. I promise that you'll discover levels of deliciousness that you never knew existed. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. I really do appreciate it. If you're in the area, I'll leave all of Karaku's information in the description. If you go there, let them know Rodney Rock sent you. And I want to know, leave me a comment. What is the weirdest thing you feel you've ever eaten? I make videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So subscribe down below to stay up to date. Share this video with your friends. Tag people that you care about. And until next time, I'll holler at you.